what is up guys and welcome back to the channel and today what we're gonna be taking a look at it is the NECA um, 2-pack with Toka and Razar um, so guys before I get into the video I want to say thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for um, watching my videos leaving comments and just thank you guys for supporting the channel and I really do appreciate all the support that I've been getting from you guys. So it really does motivate me to continue on and making awesome videos for you guys and getting some awesome figures and unboxing them for you guys and giving you guys my personal opinion on them. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get started with this video and let's go ahead and start with um, basically the packaging. All right guys, so with the packaging, you do get the, to your left is an image of Toka, to the right is an image of Razar, and I hope I am pronouncing their names correctly. Um, but this is the animated um, version of them. I know NECA has the movie version as well that is out there. That was one that I honestly wanted, but um, you know I can't find them in stores or online. I might be possibly getting them, um, we'll see. But as for right now, this is what I did went ahead and found in Target. Um, so like I said, for the front packaging, you do get the nice window view. Um, you guys know how I feel about, um, you know, these packages that we are getting in with some figures where we don't get the actual view of the figure. It's just a windowless packaging, which I do not prefer. Um, so I'm glad that NECA keeps it up with um, being able to see the action figure through the packaging. Um, so to your left again, Toka, to your right, Razar, um, to the side of the box, Razar, to the other side, Toka, and then to the back of the packaging, you do get, um, a nice little image. I mean, I've seen better, but I just feel like the green back here doesn't blend very well with Toka's green. But overall, just a decent image picture, and I'm going to zoom in so you guys can take a look at the bio right here. And if you guys want to read the, um, you guys want to read that, you can go ahead and read that out. Now is your best chance to go ahead and pause it and read it. Um, but yeah, guys, this is a decent packaging, not so much a big fan of it, but I do like it. Um, other than that, guys, let's get down to the figures themselves. All right, guys, so before we take a look at the figures, I wanted to give you guys just a clear view um, of what the backdrop looks like. Um, it's a really cool backdrop. It is from the animated series, so I am digging um, the artwork in the backdrop. NECA does a great job um, with backdrops when they do do the two packs. Even for the single pack, sometimes they do some cool backdrops. But let's go ahead and start with accessories, guys. All right, guys, starting with accessories, you do get this little cool piece right here. Um, I know it was used on the cartoons. I just don't remember what exactly it does, but it's really cool. I like the vintage style right here. Screen, see, see well, I forgot what they call it, um, the screens. If you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. CRT, I believe, right? Something like that. Um, then you get your open hand it's got some um fur kind of effect right well not effect but kind of like a fur it's kind of doing like the little fur on top right here a little bit um and then you do get the same exact hands but you know they don't have the fur effect let me show you guys it's just straight up lime green the lime green for toka and the nails are painted yellow. So it's cool, pretty cool. You do get a blue fish, which to me, I thought it was going to be like some robotic fish. But it's actually, I mean, there's no robotic features to it. It's just, I guess the way the colors painted it gives off like a kind of like a robot fish to me, at least. Um, and then one of my favorite or my favorite accessory in this two pack would be the plate right here that's freaking awesome 
I do enjoy this two pack. If you've seen the short, um, you've seen what I've done, like the little um short that I did with um I think it was Raza holding the dinner plate. This is awesome too. You get two of these, two different ones. So accessories wise, I give it a 10 out of 10. I really do enjoy the accessories. And like I said, you can use this for your other TMNT action figures. So you do get something that can be used for other figures from your TMNT collection. So I really do like that. Um, and I have seen that in a lot of episodes, I think. I can't remember, I haven't seen the old classic TMNT um, shows in a long time, but I do recall seeing that. But let's get down to the figures. Let's start with um, Razar, who I feel like he's the strong one in this two pack, like the stronger figure due to just like, I don't know, just the way he looks is done really, really well. Um, side view looks great. I love the shoulder pads, the forearm pads. Um, I noticed mine's is missing the peg in here. So this loose, this leg is loose because of the peg in here is missing. Um, I don't know if that was during getting him out of packaging or what, because they were extremely like tied up in that package. And, you know, I kind of pulled it out a little, no point intended. I got to figure out a little bit aggressive and I don't know if I probably uh, messed up the pin right there or if that's how it came. But if you can see in the back, you do get like the hair detail and he does look like more of a wolf um, dog type. You can see all the features and his face is giving me like the 90s, um, really 90s animated cartoon. Not even just TMNT, but in general, like there, there was a show, I can't remember the name, where features like dogs talking and stuff like that. I don't, I can't remember the name. If you guys know what I'm talking about, he, it gives me that vibe of that animated cartoon. It's a 90s or 80s cartoon. But it looks really good. I like the articulation in the mouth, the detail in there as well. It's really good. Um, and then you do get articulation right here in the torso. And the green looks good on his trunks. And the nails on the feet really pop. He looks cool, man. Like I said, I kind of like him more than Toka. And Toka is really kind of my favorite out of both of them. But figure-wise, I feel like he was done better. Um, with Toka... I feel like they used his body. I can't remember the single pack uh, turtle that they did. I don't know if his name was Razor or something like that. Um, just correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. But I seen this body mold being used on a turtle figure already. Um, so what you do have different though. I believe this one. The circles that you see are molded. They're not just drawn in. Um, see the claws on his feet. Really nice. Let me see if I can bring this down a little bit for you guys. All right, guys, bringing um, bringing the tripod a little bit down because he is shorter. You can get a better look. I love the back. They even included the tail down here. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly. I love the shell back here. The spikes on the shell. It looks he looks really really good. And he's got two sort of greens going on back here. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, but there is two shades, if you can tell. The back piece has like a tanner green, you know, and then the front of the figure has more of a light lime green. So there is some shading going on to the figures as well, which gives it the animated vibe. Um, and if you want to look at the face, he looks grumpy as heck. Um, he looks really, really grumpy. But I like it, man. I, I I like these figures a lot. More than what I thought I would, honestly. Um, but that is my review on these figures. If you guys want to see how they look holding the accessories, I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys real quick. And then um, end the video at that. So give me one second. All right, guys. Here they are with accessories and all. I, I am digging this two pack a lot. Um, you can definitely go ahead and like take some awesome pictures and not only you can take some awesome pictures, but you can make some pretty cool shorts. And like I said, really, really fun to pack. Um, I, I've just collected a lot of NECA like 
movie TMNT figures are is mainly my NECA collection when it comes to the TMNT. Um, I don't really have the animated ones, but this right here, I gotta give this pack a 10 out of 10 for me, my personal opinion. I am really enjoying it and really surprised. I like it more than what I thought I would. And I think it is worth the 60 bucks. If you're thinking about $30 per figure, I really do think they hold up the value. And I can just see in resellers obviously selling this for way more. Um, especially being that it's the Toka and Razar 2 pack. But with that being said, guys, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you um, find it helpful in any way. Hope you make it your decision if you're going to um, pick these guys up. And if you are searching for these guys, you most likely are planning on getting them. So I really think they're an awesome figure. And again, guys, here, that was just my review. Um, under the spotlight, they look awesome as well. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate everybody who comments down below and who likes my videos and who stays through the whole video. That really does help the channel. So again, thank you guys and I appreciate it. And I hope this video um, helped you make up your mind if you're going to get these figures or not. And just stay tuned for more videos. There's a lot more content coming up. So guys, um, just keep watching and um, I'll catch you guys on my next video.